Look, as a young man, I had to grind heavy. Got it from my mama, she was on a nine to five. Steady kid, my first whip in nine nine with a nine nine Chevy. Brave hearts, I was born ready, I'ma die ready. I really made bitches move, it was ludicrous. I had the pistol before I knew how to shoot the shit. Got my hands on some work and I didn't know what to do with it. Ended up in the kitchen on some ass and Chef Junior yep. shit. Fifteen minutes of fame. You are now listening. 15 minutes of fame, ladies. Let's go! Let's go. Y'all in there exactly. together. Let me put these Gucci's on real quick, man, because I'm all tired. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got vague. I got bad, yeah. and I don't have Debo. Hopefully, he'll get over here in a little I'll, bit. I'll answer for Debo. For, for, first of all, uh, this was a good event. Thank you. It was supposed to be great. Mm-hmm. We had a couple little slip-ups and shit like that what that, that turned about, it. Right? Tell, like, tell, no, tell me as far as everything that went okay, how'd y'all feel about tonight? I think the event was amazing. Like, we had an amazing night. Whatever went left, I didn't know about it. Like, mm-hmm. I just, it, everything just happened on the spot. None of us were aware of what was going on. Like, we just, you know what I mean, witnessed it like all the fans. So, mm-hmm. so we, like, so. You brought Misfit back. She had a great night. Flawless. You know what I mean? So that was a good night for her tonight. Yeah. Um, Shayna Ashley and C3. Yeah, y'all bought Bl- uh, um, Lex Banco back. That was You know what I mean? She was flawless. cooking. Flawless. You know, that was a good one. Shayna Ashley, you know, C3. You know, y'all had the, y'all had the power hitters on the card. Um, but there was a couple of things that happened tonight that we, we just got to talk about, right? Because everybody's going to be talking about it. Mm-hmm. The first thing You're I did. to kindly say something so you can get to the, what you call it. Just get to it. Listen, my nigga. Don't tell me how to conduct my interview, all right? Wave cap, ball head, motherfucker. <laughs> this for the show. This I don't know how niggas so, be wearing no, ball heads no, no, no. the wave. So I, t- I talked to Shane and Ashley because I wanted to make sure because, like, John John oh, had an event. Here we go. And they, you know, uh, they were getting on him about them being one-rounders. Now, I just want people, I talked to her and I want to talk to y'all so y'all make these people understand that none of this stuff you didn't know about. So this is why I want to make sure we talk to y'all. Okay. When the you battle guys was booked, the battle was thing. booked for three rounds. Mm-hmm. The only battle that was booked for a one rounder was Shuni and Shotgun Shove. Mm-hmm. Let me make this clear. Most of the intergender battles that I'm going to be bringing into Queen of the Ring moving forward will be mainly one rounder. So okay. I don't want people to come in thinking that, oh, it's not. Yeah, that was planned. It's supposed to be like that. I think that's enough. Get it done, and let's This go. is Queen of the Ring. It's about the females, exactly. not about the males. So. And exactly. both of the... the, the the, the, the C3 was crazy. The um, yes. the, uh, the the Hustle versus Twerk was crazy. Yes. Shug versus Shuni, Shuni was, crazy. was crazy. So yes. these one-rounders are enough yeah. in that ring, That's if you ask me. That's how I feel. That's how I'm I happy feel with too. that. So. Yeah, as far as um, um, C. Ash and C3, you know, for me, I would have liked three rounds. We booked for three rounds. Something happened. Shayna said she wasn't able to do the three rounds, and we didn't want to not have nothing at all. So exactly. we figured we try to do something which was do the one rounder and that's exactly how it went so that's why it happened that way it would have been that or no bad way if you only knew the stuff that we go through just to give y'all these events man i mean it's crazy we gotta go through a lot of stuff and you know we do it for the culture we do it for the fans you know and we tired as hell and shit Mm. so so now let me get to the, the really major uh, controversy because now um, <laughs> um, Farrah didn't finish a third. Well, she didn't even start a third round. Now, this has happened before um, with um, Robin Rhymes. Robin Rhymes. Mm-hmm. So it's like, is there some kind of confusion with the contracts or is it can she, no, is she it, okay? It, can she ask no. for that? Might have been a miscommunication maybe. Ain't, no, ain't no confusion, man. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, let's keep it so hard. If we can't keep it in there, let's keep it one. Farrah asked me to ask Misfit not to say nothing about her mom. I asked Misfit, Misfit said, Misfit said, cool. You know what I'm saying? So what Misfit displayed in that um, in the ring, she, in her head, I mean, in her, not her head, but you know, I want to say like it sounds funny, but the material that she said she had was not disrespectful. You can't tell somebody about their moms in any shape, form, or fashion because she'll probably think it was material that was disrespectful. And you're being disrespectful with that damn phone. Sorry. But, you know what I'm saying, you can't tell nobody, you know what I'm saying, how to feel about, you know, whatever and shit. But that was just the the, the agreement that was put on the table, you know? So it was just the mishap and shit. And she, you know, I can understand out of anger and shit, she put it on on Debo. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. You know, and we just gonna move on from there. So is there a way to prevent this from happening? 
because maybe people starting to see yeah, this. Yeah, I'm booking then... the battles. That's it. That's it. End the discussion. End the discussion. Babs called my phone. Yeah, Yeah, because I'm sure people might see this and they might take that angle on Farah again. You know what I mean? It's like, is there a way to prevent this from actually happening again? Yeah, Babs gonna book the battles. Oh, Oh, that wasn't a joke. No, No, I'm not joking. I think she should book the battles. (laughs) I think can you if book me in If you're a female battle rapper and you want to battle at Queen of the Ring, holla at me. If you already a Queen if of the Ring busy, girl, me up. then you already know I'm going to call you. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. But me. Debo, no. I don't want nobody to Debo's think that Debo a fucked up nigga. He just busy. He got other shit to Debo do. Got, yeah, so, Debo's busy. You know. too busy. Let me tell you, let me tell you something. I got to go, though. Okay, I'm just going to say it real quick. Can I say it? All right, go ahead. Me, Vegan Babs is family. We brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I'm not offended by nothing. None of them say they're not offended about what I said, you know what I'm saying? We, I know you tired of this. Oh, Jay, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. That's all right, I know. I don't give a shit. If I booked the battle, she booked the battle, or they booked the battle. We've all booked battles before. It's not like I'm the only one that booked battles. They yeah, y'all can still holla at him, too. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Nothing was done wrong. I ain't doing no foul shit, none of that. that. That's what it is, you know what I'm saying? This is why I want women, to have this women have a, to make sure they know Women have young. emotions, man. When you do female battle rap, this a lot of this shit be happening. Women have emotions and shit. I'm not saying it disrespectfully, because I love all the females in the this shit like this happens. The last thing I want to say. I want to see three to get her shit off. I'm out. Yeah, hold up. Could you? Could it, let me finish last what I'm gonna say. say? Yeah. The last thing I want to say is that this don't happen all the time. I just want y'all to know that at least today, I'm the fucking goat. Why? Because I got all three of y'all on this camera talking yeah. together. Absolutely. So that don't I happen that. every we got day. something real big coming, but we don't want to release that yet. <laughs> I think I said it. Yeah, we Fifteen minutes of fame. <laughs> Whose voice is that? Me. Rod well, taking all the credit, man. It is me. minutes of fame. Shout out to one man Rob, band. Man. Shit. Yo, Yo but Appreciate let's not y'all, forget, man. hold up, the Grind Season Show every Sunday, 8 to 11 on titansofradio.com. And it's not the best radio show on Nah, it's the internet. best radio show it's on the internet. Not the best. We broke but records. But I see you gave me a shout out we after broke records. so I let you live with that. I gave you a shout out, though, on my show, yeah. right? No. Today? You, no, but I gave you a shout out on my show, too. That's what's 15 up. 15 minutes of fame. You are now listening. 15 minutes of fame, baby. Let's go!